Atlassian products are great for helping groups collaborate together, whether it's figuring out what work they need to do, planning, or knowledge management. One way you can help control those groups is by using the Teams function in Atlassian. Here, we're going to dig in to see how you can make teams and how they benefit you and guide people to the right groups. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. Here I am in a Confluence Cloud Premium instance, although you should see this in every flavor of Confluence. But to find teams, all I have to do is come up to the Teams menu. And right away, I can see that I'm on two teams. I'm on Team Jaquil and Atlassian Test. I can also create a team or search for people and teams. I'm going to take a look at this first team, though, and just see what's in there. This is a team page, and most team pages will look similar, but it's going to have things like the name of the team as well as a description. This is provided by the team to help others figure out what is the team for. Underneath that, I have the ability to add more people to the team, delete the team, or change things like the name, or allow anyone just to join it. If I don't check this, I have to add them. So there might be cases where you want to discuss describe your team and not let others just join. But you might also have teams like an office party team that you just want anyone to be able to jump in and learn from or work with. I can then see the team membership as well as any agents or individuals who have access to Jira to work on tickets to support the team. Now, one neat thing about teams is it will track the activity for every individual on the team. So here I can see everything that's happened by these team members. In this case, they've created a team team page here in Confluence. They've added some kind of bug in a blog post, and I can click show more to see even more of stuff that they've done. Underneath that, I'll see a list of any Jira issue assigned to the team. This can be a great way to keep track of what work is Team Jaquil up to. Should I be adding more or did I put the ticket in the right spot? Underneath, we have the ability to own components. So a team, Team Jaquil, could own the component Jaquil. And this would then show any of the components that this team is responsible for. Again, one way of helping manage work, but also communicating to others, what does this group of individuals do and what can I expect them to help out with? Underneath that, I have the ability to add links about the team. When someone finds this team, this will guide them to help articles or other pages that will tell them what we do. Maybe we support the marketing team in their efforts to put out better content, or maybe we support end customers and you can reach out using this particular form. We can also give kudos to the team just as a way of saying thank you. I always encourage calling out positive behavior so we can just click this button and give that kudos. And then at the bottom, we can add other links about the team. Maybe it's a team calendar or a team space in Confluence, something else that someone would find interesting about the team. So this is the team in Confluence. The other thing teams can do is add a header image. Again, a great way to personalize it and make it unique to this one group. Now, one great use of a team is the ability to at mention them. For example, if I am in Confluence, I can pull up Team Jaquil and send this page to them directly. I don't have to remember each individual's name. This can make it very simple if I need to get in touch with a certain support team. I can just type in payroll support and I don't have to worry about who specifically is on it. It just goes to the team. The same is true in a comment. For example, I can open up a comment and at mention Team Jaquil and alert that entire team to something that I need. Again, this helps my end users because they don't have to know who's on Team Jaquil, they just know that that is the team that can help them. Similarly, if I'm on a JIRA ticket and I open up comments, the same team appears. Again, the team isn't just in Confluence or JIRA, it's across Atlassian products. One important thing to think about though is I can't assign a ticket to a team. Tickets still must be assigned to one specific person. And this is to help ensure accountability. I don't want the team confused over who's doing it. I want one specific person to be handling it. So those are teams. They are a way to organize individuals with access to your Atlassian instance into groups. And it, again, doesn't have to be by department or who they actually report to. It could be collections of different ways they work or different other events going on in your organization. Definitely worth checking out, though, because it makes communication and understanding who does what a lot easier. If you like this, please like and subscribe. It helps me out. And use the comments to drop questions or comments. Or how do you use Teams to organize what's going on? Thank you so much for learning with me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of these again soon.